Uh, Saxton, stop dancing. I can't help it. It's like my hips and my hands have a mind of their own. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from the Isle of Samoa. Weighing in at 425 pounds. Rikishi! He's held the Intercontinental Championship, multiple tag team titles. And Kishi may be the best dancer in WWE history. Besides you, Cole. Thanks, Corey. I won a number of dance contests. Hey, did you guys know I used to watch Rikishi tapes to get ready for my eighth grade? Anyhow, Corey, what do you think about Rikishi and his career? I think Rikishi is one of the most fun-loving, yet dominant WWE superstars we have ever seen. Deceptively agile, hard-hitting, and no one has more fun than the big man. What about me? Saxton, get off the desk. This is not permission for you to twerk. Ah, oh, raising the roof, Corey. Watch me. The Samoan Bulldozer. A truly ruthless competitor. And his opponent from the Isle of Samoa. Weighing in at 350 pounds. Umaga. A multiple-time Intercontinental Champion here in WWE. A truly terrifying blend of size, speed, and aggression. And think about all the epic brawls we've seen Umaga involved in against the likes of both John Cena and Bobby Lashley. Umaga is. I've got to agree with you, Cole. Umaga has provided absolutely unmatched brutality in WWE. You know, after arriving here at WWE, Umaga quickly earned himself a vicious reputation. Everyone came to learn that he puts no punches in the ring. And in fact, even enjoys inflicting pain and suffering on his opponents. Umaga loves nothing more than to conquer his competition by the most grisly means possible. He shows no remorse inside the ring and fights like a man who has gone to war. And that's exactly what makes Umaga a frightening opponent. I'm sure we'll see his most bloodthirsty tactics in this one. And across the way, Umaga's gonna fly! Solo and splash! moment. He can't let that discourage him. He's got to keep on the offensive. Ouch. Well measured. What kind of offense do we need to see from Rikishi tonight if he wants to come out on top of the win? We need to see his versatile offense. Rikishi's a veteran with a deep playbook. He can throw hands, toss you around, or even come flying off the ropes. He needs to unleash all of that on this opponent. Smart attacking the... Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. Targeting a shoulder with the claw. Escape and a takedown. Punch lands. Whack. Oh, oh, God. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh, the reversal by Rikishi. That unraveled on Umaga. Look at this. Going counter for counter. Oh, that can rock you. Got it scouted. Crank in the head. Now look at that long side truck. Into the pit attempt. Two just kicks out. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. Rikishi hoisting up his opponent. Rikishi driver. Rikishi may have put the exclamation on this one. What in the world? Are we sure that wasn't three? Uh, just about as close as you can get. And the heaviest hitter in the arsenal was not enough. Great wherewithal on the counter. Hold in for belly to belly. Oh, what a smash. 
That is just insulting. Saw that one coming. special between these competitors, but they are taking things over their own limits. Ah, oh, the reversal by Rakeem. Uh-oh. Rakeem driver. Rakeem may have put the exclamation on this one. Two count. That match deserves another look. Here we go. but in the end, there was a decisive winner. A win's a win, and it's also all that matters here in WWE. Good job.